Hey guys, welcome back. In this AWS project, we are going to learn how to host a WordPress website on AWS using Amazon LightSail. So here we are in AWS console. Now I'm going to, in the search bar, I'm going to type Amazon LightSail. And I'm going to click on that. So here we have, you can see we have instances, containers, databases, networking, storage, domains, and snapshots. So we will create an instance. So you can see the Amazon light sale here. So this is a default page. So I'm going to click on create an instance. So here, the first thing we need to configure is the location of the instance. So we can change AWS region and availability zone. So you have to select the region that is closest to you. So in my case, I will select the Seoul because it's near to me. But make sure you can also select one of the other regions which is close to you. Next, we need to pick the instance image. So we have two options, Linux or Microsoft Windows. So we'll continue with Linux or Unix. And next, we need to select a blueprint. So you can see there are several options, WordPress, LAMP, Node.js, and any many others. So I will use the default WordPress and we will go and leave the default configurations here. The next thing we need to configure, or let's say we need to choose is the instance plan. So here we have uh, several options, starting with three and a half, dollar to five dollar ten dollar twenty and forty and you can see there are more options so you can select and you can also see the memory processing storage transfer so you have to go and check that but for this example we can proceed with the first which is offers three months free and this will this is the this will cost us like three and a half dollar and you can see it will give us 512 MB and two CPUs and 20, 20 GB SSD and one TB. And you can see that uh, it's just, so they're just suggesting us here to choose the second option. But as an example for this project, we can continue with the first one. And the next thing is to identify the, our instance. So here by default, it's giving us WordPress dash one, but we can change it, let's say WordPress task or testing project, whatever you prefer. And we can leave all other default configurations and you can basically create this instance. And one thing you have to note that usually it takes about like two to five minutes, even though you see the panning from panning to running state, uh, you have to wait because if, if you copy this public IP address here, now, if I copy in a new tab and paste it, this will not work. You see, this site cannot be reached because you need to give some time. So even though it's now running, it will not work. So you have to wait about two or five minutes. So I will pause the video now and I will start when it's done. So guys, I am back. As you can see, after waiting about two minutes, we can now, if I refresh this the IP address, you can see the default WordPress page. You can see this is a default WordPress page. When you install the WordPress, you will see that. So now uh, we want to go to inside this WordPress test. And here you will see more information like your public IP address here. This is a WordPress public IP address. And you can also see the username by Bitnami. And you can also see this is the SSH key here. So now what we are going to do Basically, this public IP address may fail any time. So in order to avoid, in order to have a static IP address that will not change and stay forever, we need to attach a static IP address. So how can you do that? In order to attach a static IP address for this instance, we need to go to networking here. And here you can see there is an option which says attach a static IP. So we'll click on attach a static IP and there is an only the thing that you have to configure is here the name. So you have to choose a name. So let's just leave as a default name and click on create and attach. So as you can see, it's so easy to create and attach the public IP ad static IP address and I will click on continue. Now we can copy this static IP address and I'm going to 
paste in a new tab so you will see the same default WordPress page. Now we are going to basically go to AWS and configure Route 53. Here we are going to create a records and then we will point this IP address to our actual domain name. So for that, I'm going to click on AWS, AWS console, and I'm going to search Route 53. So Route 53, as you can see, it's a scalable DNS domain name. As you can see, if I search Route 53, you can see scalable DNS and domain name registration. So here, as you can see, I have created one hosted zone. So please, if you don't have any registered domain, please watch the video that I will paste in the video description so you can watch the video and learn how to register a domain from the Daniel. He explained it in a very easy way. So after you register a domain, you can come back here and then continue from this stage. So click on the your registered domain and inside you will see the two records by default. You can see NS and SOA. So what we are going to do, we are going to simply create two records. So click on create a record and you have to switch to wizard uh, because you can also see that there is also option to switch to quick create, but we will stick with a wizard. Select the simple routing and here click on next. And here we need to define a simple record. And the, for the first one for the record name, just leave as it is, simple devops.net. And for the record type, just leave as an A. And for the value route traffic too, we have to select IP address because we have an IP address that we created using Amazon LightSail. So, and for the IP address, I'm going to go to LightSail and copy my IP address that we have attached a static IP address presently. And I'm going to here paste it and I will leave all other default configurations and click on define a simple record. And you can see we have a record now. We will click on create a records. And uh, guys, it, sometimes it takes some time to, you know, to, to, uh, to finish this record and, you know, everything to set up. So now we will go and uh, I'm, I'm going to open a new tab and search my website which is simple devops.net and as you can see it's now not working because here it's automatically pointing me www because we haven't created the record with www yet so i'm going to delete this and search only simple devops.net i mean i will only type simple devops.net if i enter that you see it's still not working because as i said you need to give it some time to you know to continue and you will see it now but we can also go in a new in a new in a new incognito window you can also type simple devops.net as you can see it's now working simple devops.net but if i do like www.simpledevops.net it will not work because we haven't created a record with www yet so what i'm going to do um, I'm going to go back to the Amazon light sale. Uh, I mean Amazon route 53 and here we will click on create a record. We'll select simple routing and here we'll define a simple record. And this time we'll use www.simpledevops.net and we will leave the record type as a, and for the endpoint we'll select IP address and we will use the same public IP and we will paste it here and we will leave other default configurations and define a simple record create a records and this one usually takes a long time so if you go to your new incognito window if you go to your website and refresh that and if you go to if you type www.simpledevops.net it's not working for me in my case as you can see but this usually takes a long time because in my previous state, I see that it took some time. So if you see that it, it takes, if it takes, in your case, if it takes a long time, don't worry, you have to give it some time, like maybe two or five minutes. And if you type a www and your domain name, you will see that it will work. 
So this is how you can host a WordPress website on AWS using Amazon LightSail. So now I want to show you how you can go to this WordPress website. So you see that we have a WordPress website. Now if I go to this WordPress website and here I will type slash and VP dash admin. This will go to our admin. So how can you know that you can uh, know your password, your credentials? In order to know your WordPress credentials, you have to go to your instances and you can see that we have a WordPress task instance and there is, as you can see, there is a terminal. So click on the terminal. And here in terminal, we need to type the commands. So here you can basically type any commands like ls, pwt to know your directory. And now we want to run the command to know our credentials, specifically of the password. So here I, you know, on my notepad, I have here copied, I have typed the command that will give us the password, the cat, dollar, dollar sign, and home, Bitnami application, Bitnami application password. If I enter that, you see that it will give us the password. This is the AW, this is a WordPress console password. I will copy that and make sure you can paste it in your note, note notepad. And then go back to the login page and here in the username type user and the, for the password just paste it and click on login and this will enable us to go to wordpress dashboard page so here you can if you want you can make a post or you can change the style or appearance for example you can click on appearance and change the the you can change the other appearance let's say we want to activate this one and we can also click on customize i don't know too much about wordpress so you can play around if you want so let's say we want to change this users block to simple devops and we can click on save save that and now i'm going to after saving it's now, as you can see, it's saved now. I'm going to go back to the WordPress page. And if I refresh that, you see that our WordPress default page has changed. The appearance has changed. You can also see the simple DevOps. So this is how you can host a WordPress website on AWS using Amazon LightSale. And one more thing, guys, after you finish your practice after you finish your test project make sure to delete everything you created using aws because this will charge you a lot so we have created a one instance i'm going to click on these three dots and delete this instance and this will delete us and also go to networking and here you see that we have a static ip address that we have created click on these three dots and delete this static ip address also now just double check, we don't have any instances and we don't have any static IP address. And go back to route 53, here we have created two records. I'm going to select these two records with the A and I'm going to delete these records. You can just leave the default record. And if I go back to Amazon LightSail or my WordPress, if I refresh that, you see that it will not work now. So that's all about it for this video and I will see you in the next videos.